Yes, sir, we're officially back at it. This is Boog Nice coming at you with the Max Factory Figma Lonely Gourmet Figure Review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends, imports, many maybe I'm fucking with. Hype beast we know about you. Stay buying figs, don't know about it. And a quick look at the artwork on the side of the box. It's actually just a picture of the figure. It says Figma Max Factory, number 378. And just a different view on the opposite side, more the same. All right, so bear with me here. But um, I've got Matsushigi Yutaka. That's who this guy is. He's from the show Koduku no Gurumi. I guess that's how you pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, then it is what it is. I'm fucking black. But uh, this guy is based, this character is based on uh, a manga that was then adapted into a TV show. So this is based on the actual actor who plays that character on the TV show from the manga. There you have it. That's all I know. But if you know me, you know that I cop this figure. It's not because I'm a fan of the manga or the television show, but because I wanted this body. I wanted more options for my Figma figures, a suited body. I'm on it. I'm going to jump on it from any line for the most part. So I'm still going to go through all the motions here, go over all the accessories and things like that. But out of the package, he looks pretty good. Uh, you know, for Figma, it's clean. It's nice paint work. Uh, you know, the proportions and everything here look pretty good. Uh, I'm never really a fan of how the, the, the joints look at the bend of the elbow for Figma for the most part. But... Again, I do think he looks clean, and from what I've seen, uh, the likeness to the actor is definitely there. So, all right, let's go over his accessories. So, straight out of the package, he comes with uh, two sets of fisted hands, and these look fine. And there's a quick look at the wrist pegs, and you can see that those are rather small, so you definitely need to be careful with that. But he does come with an additional peg. Most Figma figures do, so if you were to lose one or break one, then you do have one replacement. And I do think that you can buy these uh, pegs online as well. Then he also comes with a set of sort of semi-open cupped hands, and these can be used to hold items. In fact, he does come with one thing that he can hold. I might as well uh, break that out real quick. And he's packed in with a little briefcase, which looks really nicely detailed, aside from this little paint imperfection here on the left side. But there was no issue getting it into his hands. The hands are soft and pliable enough where you can just kind of wedge it in there, and he can hold it without a problem uh, in either hand. And then he's also packed in with a set of hands that are open with the finger slightly spread. And these can actually be used to hold one of his other items as well. So he's got this little doggy bag, I assume, what looks like a takeout bag. There's a little cow on it and some uh, Japanese writing, uh, but there's only a logo or an insignia on, on one side, and then it's blank on the other side. But the way that it's uh, sculpted, it looks like there's something inside the bag, so that was cool. And like I said, he has no issue holding it close to his body like that. I assume this is something directly from the show. And then his last hand option is a right hand that is sculpted with some sort of food item uh, fixed into the hand. So this doesn't come out. Looks like a meatball or something, but maybe it's sushi. I don't know what it's supposed to be, uh, but that looks pretty cool. And then he's got one final accessory aside from a stand. All Figma figures come with stands. I never show the stands when I uh, review Figma figures, but they all come with the stand. When I display them in my details, if I keep any Figma figures on display, I usually do display them with the stands though. But anyway, uh, like all Figma figures, the uh, face plate comes off the front and then you can just swap on the, the uh, additional options. And if I can line it up right, that'd be nice. And there you go. And that looks like he's eating something, like he's chewing or he's about to vomit one or the other. But I assume these go hand in hand. Looks like he took a bite out of whatever that is and like he's chewing. And that looks good. And these, these face uh, sculpts look very nice. It does look like the actor. So even they even got his, uh, what I assume is like a... A beauty mark or a birthmark right under that right eye because it is on both of these so I don't assume that that's supposed to be a paint imperfection it looks like it's supposed to be there but they did a good job 
Uh, the seam across the head here is somewhat noticeable, but it's not too bad. And just taking a closer look at the deco, he's got the uh, blue and silver striped tie with the gray suit. You can see the cuff of his uh, white shirt coming out the bottom here. The shoes look pretty good. You know, everything here looks pretty nice, very clean. The belt, you can see the loops, you can see the buckle. In terms of articulation, I took the faceplate off just so you can see that there is a double ball peg down in there. So the head can actually move independently of the neck, but the neck moves as well. So you do get a really nice range of motion on the head. He can look down, he can look up pretty far, left to right, do a little bit of a pivot. You know, like I always say, that gives the character some more personality when you can do that. But no... Uh, hindrance on the head or neck articulation shoulders are going to come up just about this far you can see a double ball peg in there and i'm sure you can pull these off you can do a full 360 uh, you get an upper shoulder swivel i guess basically on that joint it almost simulates a butterfly joint as well so you get a decent range of motion here on the shoulder and upper arm you do get more than 90 degrees at the elbow uh, this is another joint that you could probably, you can definitely pull apart if you want to. You also got to sometimes push it back together when it starts to uh, separate there. That's one thing that I don't necessarily like about Figma sometimes. But you do get a good range. You can put his hand up to his face or behind his head or whatever the case may be. You get a swivel and a hinge on the wrist. Um, I don't know what's going on here as far as the torso is concerned. This part of the shirt is sort of is a separate piece, so you can actually get them crunching down pretty far forward and back. And you can see in there actually another Figma joint there, so you can see how that looks. Um, but you do get a decent range in the upper torso and the lower abdomen. Hold on one sec. Here we go. A couple more double ball pegs here at the pelvis area. You can see that. His legs will come up pretty far though, and you could get a decent split. You can get a simulated upper thigh swivel there. You get a double jointed knee, uh, you get a hinge on the foot, you get a slight pivot, you get a toe joint there. Uh, and I noticed that when I first got him, this uh, foot, the peg for the foot wasn't like fully up into where the ankle area is. So I had to readjust this and the way this peg goes down into the foot, it comes in on an angle. So I had to readjust all of that and then push it back in just so, so both of the feet are even here and he will stand up without an issue. But you get a decent amount of articulation for a guy that's not a superhero or anything like that. Um, not bad. Alright, a few size comparisons. On the far left, we've got Sergeant Jen Urso, which I actually just copped today from Kmart on clearance just so I could get that Rocky base that she was packed in with. I was trying to get multiples, but they didn't have multiples, but it's all good. Check your Kmart. She's on clearance. And right next to her on the right and on the Gourmet's immediate right or immediate left immediate right yeah is the sh figure arts uh black ranger and on the far right is the sh figure arts predator and then we have all figma offerings here on the far left is the figma bruce lee and right next to him is the figma deadpool that was the dx version and on the far right the figma hulk and one last one here we've got the Tommy, I guess that's the Tommy uh, Charmillion on the far left. And then right next to him is the Mezco Judge Dread, And on the far right, we have the Marvel Legends Bishop, which is absolutely better than the Toy Biz Bishop. Shut up. So this guy was about 55 bucks directly from Japan before shipping, but I had him shipped with a couple of different things. I had uh, the SH Figure Arts Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Mafex Scarecrow figure uh, packed in with him as well. Um, but, you know, well worth it to me. Basically the price of like two Marvel Legends and for me to have a nice, clean, suited body for Figma. Uh, I totally forgot about my Figma Mark Seven Iron Man, which I probably want to do something with. But the ability to possibly put a Tony Stark head on this body uh, for Iron Man. I'm sorry I didn't really do the swaps here, but the neck peg for this particular figure is a little different than some of the other Figmas. So the other Figma heads won't swap uh, perfectly onto here. You can kind of sit them on the neck. So it's not really the same. So I didn't mess around with it too much in this review. I'll probably show some more stuff on my Instagram. 
uh, but still I'm happy to have this particular body and I got a couple of bodies coming uh, suited bodies coming for SH figure arts figures as well so a lot of things I'm just uh, anticipating and preparing for in the future as far as displays go um, but yeah man this is a pretty cool figure and even to just keep him as is as an Asian character in a display is still cool with me as well um, all right thanks for hanging out as always rate comment and subscribe and until next time Peace.